have to install it, but I got a grinder pump and then like 500 feet of inch and a half CTS that we're gonna run from this new construction house uh, all the way out to where that truck is parked at right now. So it's like 515 feet, I think, so. I actually don't have to install it. I got some city guys that come up here to take care of the for the water district. They're gonna put it in. They were just here earlier. We kind of got everything lined out on where we want to dig and whatnot. And uh, right, they'll be back. I'm gonna. I got the hole dug out already because the homeowner and everybody else was here, and I just wanted to stand around and talk. So I just jumped in and started. Uh, digging that out so then they can work on setting that when they get back and then now I'm gonna start digging out where the uh, outlet's gonna be we're gonna kind of turn it and they want to run it kind of angle it back and then take it to the property line in the backyard and then run it down that way so you can tell it's a little muddy so Widen this, uh, this would be their access to step down in there. I put clean rock in the bottom of it and then uh, kind of level that grinder pump up. I'll try to get some filming. It may have to be from the cab. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really supposed to be filming with these guys or not. So. Maybe if nothing else, I can kind of get some pictures. I wanted to film something though, because this is like the first thing I've done in almost two weeks that's actual uh, work related, so. I'm gonna get back to making some sort of dirt content for you guys. dig this down like 24 inches there's nothing out here there's really no stipulations or anything so I just figured that would be a pretty decent depth so I mean I don't I don't think they ever plan on putting a fence or anything out here but and the guy building this house pretty much owns all the other land around here so he was the one that actually said that this is where he would like to put this at, so. Which is 
always a welcome sight. They're supposed to have me some clean rock deliver here, or probably lunchtime or better. We'll throw clean rock in there, get that pump leveled up, and then I'll backfill part way up around there with clean rock, and then that way we need to bed this uh, inch and a half in. It looks like it's going to be pretty decent dirt. So we may not have to bed any of it in. But we'll need some clean rock when we get around the sewer main and stuff as well, so. And the water company's doing a bunch of other work. Here in town, we can, if we need access to the clean rock, we can just take over to the water plant. So yeah, I guess I'll just kick back and get this ditch dug and we will just check back with you guys. All right, we are back here today. They got their, they didn't have the right size fitting for that yesterday for that inch and a uh, quarter CTS. So they had that today so I can finish back filling with clean, I probably put clean rock at least over the top of that, uh, where that line goes in. Then I can just use dirt on the rest of it and I'll put a little bit of clean rock around there. And then try to take <clears throat> some of our top soilish <laughs> stuff and put back on there. And then we got, dug across the road like I said I wasn't filming when those guys were here they tapped the sewer line and I got all that cut so I really need to go and backfill that which is just a driveway to that one house so it's not like we're holding up a ton of traffic but I get down there I'll show you where we got that tapped into that sewer line and then we'll uh probably just haul off everything I got I piled it up in the road so those people's yards We'll take the rest of the clean rock fill the whole street all the way to the top up there and then just haul the rest of that stuff off and then just try to get a I back drug or kind of clean some of that up last night it was almost dark but didn't get a lot of filming there so the video will be a little uh choppy but I figure they're gone now so maybe I can show more of the cleanup process but I'll show you guys that line when we get down there and get that filled in here where you can see but that's the uh saddle and the tap that they put on there and it's just those same ford fittings that i usually use but yeah you can see the uh the rock and stuff in this ditch so i'm just gonna fill this whole thing full of clean rock i'm actually gonna try to dump some in there do a better job than i just did kind of raise it up a little bit i need to push that part of it down just a touch but i want clean rock on the bottom and mostly on the top of it then i'll just fill a foot or two of clean rock around that sewer line and stuff like that then all this junk will just get hauled off because yeah there's nothing you can really do with it so yeah we'll spend a little time uh, back filling and cleaning up
gonna get is for here i uh put a little bit of dirt in here because i when I was on that other end, I had like a kind of a low spot, and I want to try to keep the water away from there. But I'm also not going to fill up completely around this pipe because they got to come back and set the pump inside there and then run the power. So I figured they could just lay it here next to it, and then when this guy starts putting his yard in, he can kind of finish covering the rest of it up. We got a fair amount of rain showing up uh, over the weekend, which I think they're supposed to put the pump in there tomorrow or the next day and then fill that up with water so it doesn't. Uh, float out of there but that's why i didn't uh cover that up but i wanted to try to get as much water to kind of shed around and away from this thing so but this stuff is extremely wet but i think it's going to come out should work pretty good it really the house is almost <laughs> too low which i mean none of that's my problem but right there on the other side of my bucket it's kind of low but it should kind of run around and stay away from this thing and then he can figure out what he wants to do back here and then this is how this actually turned out a lot better than i thought there was one spot i just had to back drag because it was water was still just oozing out of the ground so it's just gonna have to dry a little bit more but we did get all the big boulders moved and i tracked this in just as best as i can but yeah you can this section was where all the uh water was at yesterday so yeah, you can see the ground lots of moisture in there but I got it slicked up at the road pretty good and really tracked down and kind of cleaned up along there so they should be happy with that so now we'll uh i'm gonna touch up his driveway where we kind of we're spinning around and then i'll probably pull out in the road and load the two machines up and uh see what we can get into tomorrow <laughs> 